no matter what you want to buy. You'll find it all on the hub. The SME Market Hub. Buy, sell, list, connect. Hi, I'm Folu Storms uh, and basically today I'm going to talk you through what I do with my hair. Now a little bit of my hair story is this. I was natural for 18 years uh, because my dad refused to let me relax my hair and I hated every minute of it. I had no clue what to do with it. Um, and then, let's see, once I turned 18, um, I basically was allowed to relax my hair and I did. I had it short cut, all sorts of styles. Um, but it wasn't very healthy and that was the biggest issue for me. I wanted my hair to become healthy so eventually I transitioned back to being natural with a bit more information, mostly from YouTube, so make sure you stay online. It's a great source of information. Um, I transitioned and then became a loose hair natural, so I had a nice afro um, for about two and a half to three years. Um, and then after that, because when I wanted to protective style my hair, which was to take care of it or keep it protected from outside elements, I would always put it in braids. It was my favorite style and I love braids. I've always loved the look of braids. So I thought to myself, what natural style can I do that would resemble braids? And locks came to mind, um, essentially, or what some people also call dreadlocks. I prefer calling them locks because they are simply big locks of hair. Um, the best lock style for me, and there are many ways to start your locks and different styles that you can have as you decide to go on the lock journey, um, was I decided to go with sister locks or interlocking. This is simply because they're a lot smaller than traditional locks um, and you can start them off and keep them at a relatively small size as you can see, which is what I wanted, mostly for versatility. I wanted to still be able to braid my hair, wear all those really pretty braid styles, um, but have it as my own hair. And voila, here you have it. So that's a little bit about my hair history and now I'm going to show you my daily routine and how I style my locks in the morning before I go off to work. For the first part of my routine, I mix water, aloe vera gel and apple cider vinegar in a spray bottle and give it a good shake. Then I proceed to spray this mixture all over my head until my locks become a little softer and this tells me the moisture is penetrating. Make sure you move your locks about to get the moisture evenly distributed. I do this once a day, every day, as preparation for my locks. Then, I seal my locks and give it a bit of shine with virgin coconut oil. Now remember, you only need a little bit of this. Make sure you massage it right down into your scalp and then run it through your locks. Whenever dealing with your hair, beware of rings. They can be vicious and dangerous to your hair because they catch on little bits of it and will break it off. So if you're trying to retain length, avoid rings when touching your hair. So now my hair is prepped and ready. Let me show you the first of three easy styles you can try. For the first style, I like to rock a side part to work every day. So I simply separate my hair in two sections to achieve a rough side part. Then I take a few locks from one end and twist them around each other to hold one section back. Take a simple bobby pin and clip the locks in place. If you like a neater look, you can use a simple two-strand twist method on the front and then take a bobby pin and hold that section back. But I like my hair loose, so I would normally leave one section free. The second style is even easier than the first and literally takes two minutes. Simply separate a few locks in the front of your head and twist them back against themselves to create a small quiff and secure with a bobby pin. This is another very casual look and also a favorite of mine. You can rock hats on this or you can wear it as it is. 
You can also try pulling the sides back to create a more done up look. And for a simple bonus style, you can use an Alice band. This is a very easy option for styling your hair. Now the third style is my absolute favorite for going out at night to an event or just when I want to look really good. It's an updo with a side fringe. Again, separate your hair in two sections, this time going across from ear to ear. Use clips, scrunchies or locks if they're long enough to tie your hair in the front section and leave that. Then move to the back section of your hair and start a basket weave going up your head. A basket weave is very simple. Just take sections of your locks one at a time and crisscross in an upward direction. Don't worry if you don't get it right the first time. Practice makes perfect with the style. When you get to the top of your basket weave, simply pin in place. Then, let down the front section of your hair, which will be your fringe. Sometimes you may want to adjust a few locks here or there, but do whatever suits your face frame. Keep a sharp eye out for any loose locks and make sure you tuck those in place. Finally, adjust your hair to the side to create the side fringe that you are happy with and pin in place. And that's it. To finish off this look, I use a very small amount of share butter around my edges. Now this is because I have a lot of new growth and I need to keep it moisturized. But be very careful when using share in your locks because it can attract dirt. So use very little. Next, I add a little edge control for hold because my locks haven't been maintained in a while and I need to keep it looking very neat. So use a brush and make sure you get those edges smoothed out. And don't forget your kinks in the bag. And finally, you can decide to accessorize this look either with a pretty bow for the daytime or with a gem fascinator for night. And that's it. Three simple steps on how to style your locks. So three simple tips for taking care of your locks. Clean them regularly. Condition and add shine with coconut oil. And whenever cleaning or in dusty areas, make sure you keep your locks wrapped up. Hi guys, if you just enjoyed watching that video and you want to stay up to date with the latest in entertainment, lifestyle and more from inside Africa, why don't you hit the subscribe button right now? And if you want to keep on watching videos, then just simply hit the more videos button.